10 Bizarre Marriage Rituals You Won't Believe Actually Exist Wedding rituals and traditions vary greatly between cultures, religions, countries, and social classes. Here are top 10 bizarre wedding rituals from around the world that go beyond the white dress and veil. Number 10. Crying Ritual of the Tujia People, China The Tujia people of China prepare for a wedding 30 days before the wedding day by crying. The bride spends an hour a day crying. 10 days later, she is joined by her mother, and then 10 days after that, her grandmother. And this continues until all the females in the family are crying daily for an hour. Thankfully, it is not an act of sadness, but this is actually meant as an expression of joy and deep love. Because the women all weep in different tones, the collected noise sounds almost like a song. Number 9. The Kissing Tradition, Sweden no, not just between the bride and groom. In fact, as a guest, you might just be lucky enough to plan a kiss on the bride or groom yourself. At the wedding ceremony, it is traditional for the groom to disappear during part of the ceremony for any reason. Then, all the unmarried young men are allowed to kiss the bride. The same goes for the groom and female guests, if the bride should leave the room. A unique Swedish tradition, without a doubt. Number 8. Spitting on the Bride Maasai Nation, Kenya One of the most bizarre wedding rituals of Maasai Nation of Kenya. At a wedding ceremony held by the Maasai people, the bride's head is shaved and lamb fat and oil is applied on her head. The father of the bride blesses her daughter by spitting on her head and breasts. Spitting is a symbol of disgrace, usually, but in Maasai Nation, it is thought to bring good luck and fortune. She then leaves with her husband, and does not look back for fear of turning into stone. The husband doesn't stay in the house in which she stays for the next two days, and then her mother-in-law shaves her head. This commences the wedding ceremony declaring them man and wife for life. Number 7. Kum Viva An Indian ritual for Makhlik Dosh Kum Viva is one of the most amazing rituals performed in Indian spirituality. It is a process which is used when an Indian man and woman has a Meghlik Dosh. This is a wedding between a Mangalik and either a statue of Vishnu or Peepal tree or banana tree. In some areas, Kum Viva is an imaginary marriage of girl with a pitcher of water. According to some Indian astrologers, Mangalik Dosha negatively impacts married life, causing tension and sometimes the untimely death of one of the partners. To cancel these effect, a kum viva can be performed before the wedding. Number 6. Beating the Groom's Feet, South Korea The ritual of beating the groom's feet takes place after the wedding ceremony in South Korea. The groom's friends remove his shoes and tie his feet together with a rope or sash. They then lift his legs off the ground and start beating the soles of his feet with a stick or dried yellow corvina. Yellow corvina is kind of like fish. It is believed that this will make the groom stronger before the first wedding night. It can be painful, but it's more fun than cruel. This amazing ritual holds an important place in Korean wedding culture. Number 5. Carrying the Bride Across the Threshold The tradition of carrying the bride over the threshold is not a new tradition. It dates back centuries and has a few origins. One most common belief is that this ritual began in medieval Europe where many believe that a bride was extra vulnerable to evil spirits through the soles of her feet. To avoid bringing in any evil spirits, the groom carried the bride into their new home. Also, some believe that the bride had to show that she was not at all crazy about leaving her father's home, and so was dragged over the threshold to her groom's house. Number 4. Exercise Ghosts by Marrying Animals, India in some parts of India, it is believed that ghosts can inhabit certain people of the living world, most notably girls who are born with a baby tooth already erupted through the gum, and girls who are very ugly or have some facial dissimulation are believed to be possessed by ghosts. The only way to break this weird curse is for the girl to marry an animal, typically a goat or dog. They manage a lavish wedding ceremony complete with booze and dancing. This is nothing but a mock ceremony, and the girl is not expected to copulate with the animal. It's just to ward off the evil spirits. She is free to marry a man later on.
Number three, the ritual of blackening the bride, Scotland. Blackening of the bride is a very old Scottish tradition. It's part of a hazing ritual that actually happens before the wedding. The bride is taken by surprise, by hands down the crummiest friends you could ever have, and covered from head to toe with all kinds of crap. It can be anything, spoiled milk from the back of your fridge, right down to tar and feathers. The ritual of covering brides and grooms in treacle, suit, and flour used to be carried out to ward off evil spirits. It still happens in some parts of Scotland. Number two, keys a la kachu, the practice of kidnapping brides. Keys a la kachu means to take a young woman and run away is a pretty crazy ritual. It has been practiced throughout history around the world. The ritual also known as bride kidnapping, marriage by abduction, or marriage by capture. It is a practice in which a man abducts the woman he wishes to marry. The young man abducting a woman either by force or by gill, often accompanied by friends or male relatives. They take her to his family home where she is kept in a room until the man's female relatives convince her to put on the scarf of a married woman as a sign of acceptance. Number one, money dance. Guests pay to dance with the bride. The money dance is an event at some wedding receptions in various cultures. It was originated in Poland during the 1990s. During a money dance, male guests pay to dance briefly with the bride, and sometimes female guests pay to dance with the groom. At the wedding reception, the bride will dance with her father, while a relative holds out an apron. Guests who place money in the apron win the opportunity to dance with the bride. At the same time, the dance includes bridesmaids and other ladies who dance.